Right, back again. <laughs> I wasn't planning to come back this evening, but I think I'm a bit addicted. No man in the sky. Also, it doesn't help that I've got some annual leave at the moment, and I'm home alone with a the dog. There's not much to do. <laughs> I don't mind. It means I get to play lots of No Man's Sky. And if I'm going to play, I might as well stream it. It's becoming a bit of a late, unusual time for me to stream, but maybe someone will turn up. Who knows? Right, we're in the middle of exploring my white lush Diplo system, which has got silver. Which eventually I'm going to build a silver mine on, so that we've got the resources to keep building my freighter builds. That is the general plan. I wonder, before I start, let's just nip to the freighter. I, I just check on the frigates. I need to keep the frigates going, because I still... Wait, this isn't the freighter. Oh no. That was a mistake. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Plan changes. I'll have a quick peek at the Quicksilver mission. That was intentional. Wait. I don't actually need Quicksilver anymore, do I? I was saving up for a Void Egg, but then somebody gave me a Void Egg, so... It's a nice living ship. My plan is to get a living ship. I don't know if I'm going to farm a living ship... ...or... ...go find one on the coordinates exchange, just to get a really nice looking one. Or to get both. Those are questions I still will have to answer. Do I still need Quicksilver? We got Quicksilver today for doing the weekend event. I don't think we need it at the moment. I mean, I might need to get another Void Egg at some point, but this Void Egg I'm processing at the moment will take a number of days to hatch the egg, so... That's not for a while. Let's go, let's go back. I will nip to my freighter though, just to check on my frigates, because if they're back, that would be useful. It might be too early, I've already sorted them once today, but that was this morning, so who knows. Some of them might be back. Active Void Egg. What do I do with this now? Do I have to keep this whilst the mission is ongoing? This thing is what we got. Fragile neural stem. Right. Let's nip to the bridge. I suppose I could... Well, I... I suppose we can just teleport to the, the frigate. Wait, what's going on? Where's my... I'm lost. Ah, there it is. I did put these Diplo statues here earlier on. Not quite sure. I still feel I need to work on this entrance. There's not much room. But it doesn't look quite as... You can't actually build here. You can only build, like, at this limit. It's not the kind of grand entrance that I'm going for. Maybe I need to put some lighting behind it. Must be in the freighter construction area. It's really... Benickety. Let me just have a quick look if I put green lighting. We've got a green here. If I put green on... Why is this not flat? Is that a sloped panel? I don't get this. It's a sloped panel. Ceiling lights? Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this now, but let's have a quick look what this would look like. It needs to be right in the middle, or it's... I'm just trying to get more light in the area, just to see if it lights it up a bit. These lights are ever so weird shapes, aren't they? I 
Maybe I'll do these lights as well. Right on the edge of the build. I think it is lighting it up a bit better there. I build something every time I come to the freighter. It does slowly. I mean, that just looks something different, doesn't it? Actually, I do like that. I don't quite know why, but lighting always seems to move things. Now, what about a little lighting on the statue itself? Yellow light. It's just out of range. I don't think we can scale this, can we? Can we? No. I'd love to stick it on the front. It's just out of range. Wait, I'll put it here, maybe. I mean, it looks a bit more lit up, doesn't it? I feel like this back panel could have something on it as well. Red light? This maybe is overkill. It certainly makes it pop a little bit more. I think I like that. I'll do for now. Right, why am I here? Oh, I was going to go sort my frigates out. Right. Some of them are back. So I want to know, do I finally get this, whatever it is, to find a living frigate? Doesn't look like it. They're not all back, unfortunately. This one's back as well. Now, maybe I only get it from the one that's got a living frigate. But I really don't understand that, because some people won't have a living frigate if they've not done the expedition. But you can no longer get a living frigate. So I, could, it, I think it has to be random. I'm wondering if my playthrough is bugged. Either that, or it's just a really rare drop. And some people have been lucky. And some people just haven't been. Right. Let's just sell off a few things. Vortex cubes. I don't even know why I picked those up, to be honest. Anything else? Room full of cogs. Keep the garbage for now. Oh, I said I was going to do a derelict freighter as well. Ugh, oh, so much to do. Tell you what, this update's got me doing so many things that I don't normally do, which I kind of like. Let's get rid of the honey. I've got plenty of honey. And, uh, Rita, activated Inium. Copper? No, I'm saving copper. Warp cells. I didn't realise I had those on the freighter. That's good to know, actually. Because we're running short. That's why we need to do derelict freighter missions. Superconducting fiber. Collection of toxic nuts. Viking daggers. Don't need those. Anything else? No. Right. I just realised I do have the hex site. No, I do have the marrow. I'm supposed to give that to the scientist. We've not actually built the scientist chamber. Can I build it? 
silver. We're out of silver. We're completely out of silver. Okay, never mind. We'll have to build my silver mine first. Right, so let's go back and finish sorting out this mega zoology. Oh god, it's throwing me out in a bad place again. I, I, I'm gonna have to fix this. I'm gonna have to spend some time fixing it. Somehow, I oh god, where am I even? I'm stuck in the wall. I've put the teleporter slightly too close to the wall, and it keeps every now and again it doesn't spit me out properly. Where has it actually gone? Like, I'm actually stuck. Where is the teleporter? Can't even use camera mode. I feel like I'm miles from there. How have I got stuck here? The teleporter's there. Am I going to have to reload? This is so frustrating. I can actually save, but that may be dodgy. Where will I reload if I save? better not risk it. I need to check that out. You don't re reload in the exact spot you're standing, do you? Oh, I'm pretty sure I don't, but I can't risk it at the moment. What have I done? I just sorted my frigates out. I'd just lose all of that. I don't actually think I can escape. Usually I somehow manage to escape, but it's not put me down through the wall now. It's somehow put me in the wall. We need to fix this. So annoying. If I save this and I'm wrong, it ruins up my save. I better not do that. Even though I'm pretty sure I could do. Wait, can I delete something? Hey, Paige, I've got myself stuck in the wall. I don't even know what to delete at the moment. Cannot delay it because the player's inside. No shit, Sherlock. Ah, oh, it's just so frustrating. I'm gonna have to reload. Pitch, you don't happen to know if I were to save and then reload, does it pop me out exactly where I'm standing, or does it load me on the bridge or something? I'm pretty sure it will lay, put me somewhere else, but I can't risk it, otherwise my save is corrupt. Oh, this is so annoying. I can see the entrance there. What's really weird is I'm actually quite far from the teleporter now. The teleporter's there. Like, I could touch it, I could go back through it, but I can't even touch it. And I can't delete anything. Well, I can't delete what's blocking me, because the player is inside, obviously. Ugh. I'm so tempted to save. It's generally quite accurate to where you were stood. Okay, I better not risk that. Right, we'll just have to reload then. Ugh. I have to do all of that again. What did we do? I just returned some frigate missions and sold a load of stuff, really. Didn't do that much. I need to fix this. I I keep being lazy to fix it. I can't be lazy to fix it. We can't keep having that happen. Why I'm lazy is it's not as simple as just deleting it and placing it again. I've got to delete it, place it again, then rewire the whole damn thing. But I guess... Oh, I didn't do all my lights. No. I just did all my beautiful lights here. I did actually quite like the lights. Let's do it again. No, let's fix this first. This damn thing. Right, so I do want it, but I somehow need to place it in a way that it's not partly in the wall. Where is it? Maybe we put it in here, actually. Maybe this is a better place to put it. Right. So now I need to wire it. And now I'm going to have to manually go up there, isn't it? Can I actually jetpack all the way up there? Oh, this might be touch and go. 
Wait, where am I going? I'm lost. It's here that I'm going. Oh crap, what have I done? No! Uh, I went the wrong way. I need to jetpack onto that ramp. Oh no, I let go of the tele... Did I let go... Oh crap, I let go of the teleport cable. Did I let go of it? I think I've let go of it. I think falling must have. How do you like the trees? I'm not sure if I quite like it yet. I'm having a think how I want them. I think I want a third colour in there. Unless I alternate these colours. I need to get some carbon on my freighter so I can actually build them freely. Let's try this again. Now I've got the tele... Wait, did that not attach? Why is it saying must attach to existing room? I hope this is working now. Let's try this again. Let's see it only up here. Do you know if freighter bases move over to the new freighter if you buy one? My understanding is that they don't. But I don't know for a hundred percent. I've had mixed messages on that, but I think somebody told me recently they tried to do it and it didn't work. Wait, which is the right one? This is the right one. Right, that wasn't too difficult. I actually need to colour this one. How is this? Is it is it okay? Seems okay. So far it's not... Oh god, no, I'm stuck again. How am I stuck again? I don't get it. What is it doing that it keeps getting me stuck? What am I stuck in? I'm stuck in the wall again. At least I'm right next to it. Can I go through it? I can't even go through it. Wait, if I activate this... That doesn't help anything, does it? Why is it not even putting me through it again? I'm legit... <laughs> this is so frustrating. I am stuck with photo mode as well. Ugh. I've put this away from the wall. How is this not working? I'm going to have to reload again. I'm right next to this. Why could I not just touch it? I'm in the teleport. I wish there was a button you could click to teleport. <laughs> this is so stupid. How is it not teleporting me? Right next. I thought that would teleport me. Oh, this is so frustrating. I have to delete it again. Can I even delete it? It still didn't push me out. Oh my god, I have to reload again. This is ridiculous. How is that not working? It's still too close to the wall or something. Or somehow it's glitched. Right, let's try, try again. Oh, it really annoys me now. And actually, the first time I've had to reload, I actually did more than I thought. Because we did all the building with the lights and stuff and it looked quite good. Right, let's try this again. Right, so deleting this one. And I want to... I did like that location. God, this is so frustrating. Unless I put it out here. That's... Is that stupid? So frustrating that I can't put it where I want to put it. Probably if I put it here it will at least work. I say that. Thing is, ideally I want to tuck it up against something, but that's what seems to be causing me the issue. Wait, this is now power. 
This should have power. It does have power. That is surely going to not kick me out. Right, let's color this. Red. Use a teleport cable. And third time lucky. How annoying. Right, let's see. Am I stuck? I'm not stuck. Let's do it a few times. I need to make sure I don't get glitched inside anything. But this one seems better. I'm not glitching out anywhere. Slightly annoying that it's. I'm going to have to come out on the walkway, but I suppose it doesn't matter. I get to see the trees. Right, that seems okay. <laughs> Let's go do the frigates again then. I presume we get the same rewards if I've reloaded. I've never actually tested that. Basically, we didn't get anything good. I'm wondering if I've got a broken save and we're just not getting this item for finding organic frigates because... I've had quite a few frigate fleets come back now and I still haven't got the reward for a frigate fleet. Organic frigate. I don't get it. That's my organic frigate. I'll have to wait for that one to come back still. Right, and then the last thing we did was sell everything. Let's quickly do that again. Uh, cadmium. And then the stuff on the freighter as well. Oh, I should have kept those. Right, that's all of that. And then I did build this lighting at the front. Let's go do that again, because I did like the look of that actually. And do I like this door? Would it be better without the door? Can I delete just the door? That's not the door, is it? I don't think I've got an option. I don't think this was the door I placed. I think that's just the whole room. Oh well. Right, so I did put some lights here, which looked kind of cool. Let's do that again. So we had some green light. Oh, no. Don't go too far away. I won't build a camera. Where did we put it? Right on the ceiling, wasn't it? Let's put them inwards like this. It's not going to be exact. I'm not going to be too fiddly with it. Vaguely in the middle. I don't know why it keeps twisting like that. Come on. Come on, you silly thing. Oh, we had those lights, and then we put some red light on the panel here, didn't we? Why does the light seem so big here? Is that even on it? I don't quite know how I want this.
And I think we had some yellow light. White light, yellow light. And down by the statue somehow. It didn't really fit well on the statue. I can't place it on here, unfortunately, because it's just out of range. Be in the doorway. It's not actually let me rotate it. What the hell? What's going on? I actually like the look of these lights, but I do like the lighting effect that you get. How's that look? Oh, that's not good. That's just floating in the midair. Oh, God. Delete that one. How's it look at the moment? I think it does bring it to life a little bit. Just a bit of lighting there. Ah, maybe that's okay, actually. I just feel the statues are not quite lit up. Is there a lamp? Maybe this one. Can you resize this? I don't think it quite fits. I did to like light up the statue somehow. It's really fiddly. I turned it the wrong way around. Oh, come on. No, what am I doing? Does that light up the statue or not? Not really. It looks okay there, I guess. What if it needs to be bigger? I mean, lights up the statue a little bit. Not very much, though. It's really weird because I'm right on the edge of the build limit and it doesn't actually let me edit things very well. Let me try and make a bigger one. Does that light it up? Does that look better or worse than the other side? It looks a bit too busy, really, doesn't it? I don't know. I think I give up on that. I can't. Oh, come on. Edit. Camera. Delete. No, nope, that's what I want. Delete. Delete. I think I'll leave it like that for now. That'll do. Although I still feel like... I'd love to have a decal, but I just don't know where to put the decals. The decals don't seem to place very well for some reason. Let's see if it'll let me put a decal on the wall. doesn't look very good here. Uh, I like the look of this one, but... I can't build it there. This doesn't work. Wait, can I make it really small? Ah, this might look okay, actually. How do I duplicate that? Why does that not work? How did I change it to a different decal? I pressed a button then. Cycle part. Wait, what? How do I go back? 
I actually like that one. Okay, we'll have this one as, instead. They're not lit up very well. Let's see anything. Does it matter? It looks a bit interesting. Proper entrance way, isn't it? Let me just make a save. I don't know why I'm doing this. I wasn't supposed to be doing this right now. What we're supposed to be doing is exploring the system, finishing the zoology in my Diplo White Lush system so that I can finally build a silver mine so that we can finally have enough silver <laughs> to keep building. Ah, it's a long-winded process, isn't it? So in this system, I've got a White Lush with Diplos on it. We've done all the zoology on it except for one cave creature we couldn't find. And I think we managed to do the zoology on four other planets, and there's two planets that we still need to do. I've also started to name planets because I found out that if I name them, I might not lose them. So we're going to get lots of subliminal messages to subscribe and like. <laughs> I might as well abuse the system, isn't it? Right. <laughs> subscribe to Alexi Check. Subscribe now to Alexi Check. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to love this, actually. Very good. Right, so what planet have I not been to yet? Have I been to this one? I've discovered them all. Because I did it in the freighter. So, and you'll now need to work out which one have I not actually... Have I been to this one? I've not been to this one. Okay. Let's go explore this one. Now, because we've already scanned it, we can actually look what the creature table is. Ah. Uncommon underground. Yay. Rare underground. Double EA. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Another underground delight. But we're going to do it. This is a Diplo system, and the rules of this playthrough so far has been Diplo systems equals... We'll explore. And I'm not ready to give up those rules yet. Besides, I do like exploring. And... I'm not looking for underground creatures very often, at least. It's only when we find, let's call it a special system with special creature or a white lush. Or in this system, we've got a white lush and diplos. So, block the scan. Block the scan. Scramble their scans. Worthless cargo. That's what we've got. Right, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Another cactus world. Apparently I'm supposed to be able to drift. Maybe is that drifting? Does that maybe it is handling slightly different? But it's not like I can put brakes on or something. Maybe I've got slightly more freedom about my maneuverability. Particularly on turns. Hmm, maybe. Right, so we're going to need caves, so I guess we could start off by looking for a building. Building with a cave, hopefully. If we start off with the cave creatures, perhaps that will make it more manageable. Because one of the depressing things with full zoology on underground planets is just how long it takes to find the underground creatures compared to everything else. If we've already done them. I see got a trade platform. Not really looked at many of the ships in the system. I suppose we could have a quick look. I mean, we've spent so much time in the system already. And we're going to spend so much more time. Because I'm going to be building my silver mine in the system. And I've never done that before. It's going to take a while, I presume. Just see a couple of ships. We're in a Viking system, so it's going to be fighters. Started to storm. I suppose I should look at them just to see if there's an S class. I'd buy an S class just for scrapping. How long do we wait? It's a bit annoying that it started to storm because I can't see a thing anymore. See a creature, antelope. Oh, and we've started a new thing, which I'm actually enjoying, called 
Creature of the Planet Awards, where once we've completed the zoology, we give one of the creatures an award for being the best creature on the planet. Occasionally give extra trophies if there's extra special creatures. And so far I've been enjoying doing that actually. Leads to some nice interesting debates. Oh look, a mushroom bone cat. Is it a mushroom crystal bone cat? I can't see any crystals. That's creature of the planet so far. Let's go have a look at him. Now, bone cats are another creature that can have two slightly different sex varieties. Oh, he's really attacking, isn't he? This one doesn't seem to have crystals, unfortunately. I definitely prefer it when they've got both mushrooms and crystals. There's one with crystals. So we've got either one with mushrooms or we've got one with crystals. Looks like he's got blue crystals. Now I've seen a couple of very rare bone cat variants. The most rare bone cats I've seen is one, I had a completely purple bone cat. I think I've only seen it once or twice like that. And the other one that I found had rainbow crystals and I've never ever seen rainbow crystals ever again. I literally have found one rainbow crystal bone cat. I kind of wish I still had it. I guess I still have it on one of my other saves. I think it's my save before last. Oh god, I've, I've got so many permadeath saves. Uh, got an interesting predator. I don't think he quite trumps the bone cat. Though he is kind of colourful. Have a look at him. It makes me pay more attention to the creatures now that we've got this trophy to give out. This one's actually a reasonable candidate. Anyone prefer this over the bone cat? Right. We really need to find a cave. I need to get... This is the problem is it takes you so long to actually find a cave. You've already finished finding all the other creatures. Is that a cave? No, just a hole just a hole hmm there's a bird there's a building and there is a humming sack right let's check out the humming sack there's a cave creature oh the joys where's it gone don't disappear on me don't you dare disappear on me Did it despawn on me? You bastard cave creature. I know it's in this cave. Oh, you've got to, like, what a troll. They didn't do this to me, game. Don't give me a cave creature and then it despawns before I manage to dig down to it. Perhaps I should do a reload, try and get it back again. It was in here. I know it's in here. It was in this cave. It... Don't tell me it's gone up to the surface. Are you kidding me? It's glitched through the cave wall. Either that or it's a ground creature. <laughs> you bastard. Look at that. Hiding from me. Got him. And it's the rare one. Oh, thank God we got it. Right, so it's an uncommon underground that we need. Always active. What is the chance that it's also down here? It's not It's not much of a... It is! You! God, I was about to leave this cave. What a trolley cave. It's just been tricking me. But we've got it very quickly. That might be the quickest underground creatures we've done. Goodness, what a trolley cave that was. But 
we've got a zoology complete. Right, who's going to get my Creature of the Planet award? I think it's probably him. Or it's this guy. It's not this guy. I think I'm going to go with this guy. Right. Copper Ward. And we also get to do our new... Like the video. There we go. Subliminal messaging. But really I'm doing this because I found out that if I name stuff, it seems to get it so it doesn't become undiscovered. And I'm actually just testing whether it keeps all the creatures uncovered or if it only keeps the one that I put a name on. I really want to know that. It says the bone cat. Oh, thank God I chose the bone cat. There's always a delay. Right, that was much quicker than I expected. Like, I spent literally half an hour on the last underground planet looking for creatures. Maybe longer. Maybe spent an hour. And this we spent like 10 minutes. And that was a bit fortunate because first of all I had to dig down to the cave creature and then it disappeared. And then it appeared above me and then I managed to dig to it. And then I was about to leave the cave and then the other creature spawned below me. It's how finickety. Oh look there's a... Oh, I think we've already seen this one. Is this the white and green? This is annoying. I have to look in photo mode. I think we might have seen this already. Did I take a picture of it? I better take a picture of it. Put this in there. I like these little hoppers. Let's just put the coordinates here. I'll put that in the Discord under the ships. White and green hopper. I'm not too keen on that pale green, but... Wait, how am I still out of jetpack? When you're in photo mode, does your jetpack not recover? Oh my god, I can't reach it. Oh, oh, there we go. Right. Oh, the other thing I need to do is a save reload and go check the multi-tool. Let's do that. Because whilst I'm in this system that we're doing the zoology on every planet, I might as well check the multi-tools out. It doesn't take too much longer, and you never know. I have found the odd experimental and alien multi-tool this way because it basically makes me see it extra multi-tools doesn't it but where is actually the space station is the space station there by the nexus it is god what a troll everything's in the way well, let me get my freighter over here as well go to the space station. I don't know what would happen if I teleported to the space station. I think that resets the multi-tool, so I probably shouldn't do that. So we've got one more planet to explore fully, I think. And then the last creature to find on the White Lush. And then a little bit of a search to see if we can find an S-class silver deposit. I found an A-class one so far. I don't know how much effort I should be putting to find the S-class. It just feels if I'm going to build the mine, I might as well. Even though I know you don't need it. I don't know. Is that really silly? To be addicted to an S-class that it doesn't really mean anything. It's a bit... I don't know, what's the word? It's a bit vain really, isn't it? Because I'm pretty sure an A-class will give me more than enough silver. But it just feels like, basically, I think an S-class will give me 20% more. But it might already give me so much silver I won't know what to do with it, depending on how big it is. Because I can just keep making it bigger if I need to, I think. Right, there's the planet's multi-tool. It's got an interesting crystal, actually. Little pink, orangey crystal. Right, so, which is a planet that I've not not explored yet? It's so difficult. I know I've written here, I've actually written to these four, and this is the white one, so it's this one. 
like the videos. I actually like this. I need to come up with some more things to say. Wow, I could put other streamers in. Subscribe to Beeblebum. <laughs> the thing is, I don't think I can actually fit that much extra in. Right, we need to go visit Planet Mammon. And the good thing is, I actually get a little preview. So we actually need to go to the north. I don't think there's any way I can determine what the north is without actually going to the planet. There's a rare underwater always active. The other fish are also always active. And there's no underground creatures. So ideally I want to go to the north of the planet. I, I haven't actually worked out. Is there a way that you can say what the north of the planet is? Just by its orientation in the system? What makes a north? Well, let's block this scan out. So it's going to be the... F Wait, I didn't block it. I didn't block it. Ah, I managed to block it. There we go. So it should be the planet furthest away. Let's go dead centre and pretend that's north and see if that works. South. What? What is the way that it should be north? Class means very little. Is it more important to find one nearby a power hotspot? I guess you're true. Now, I think there was a C-class power hotspot close by. Is that good enough? It's more just because it feels nice to have an S-class. Not that it means anything. Isn't that stupid? Why do I feel like that? Does anyone else feel like that? But that's why you get S-class ships. Like, it doesn't really do very much. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I know you get slightly better stats and stuff, but it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Right, I'm very curious if this is actually north or south as we come in now. I've never actually tried to work out point blank where the north and the south is. Perhaps that's something I should do. Look at these nice square rocks. That's kind of cool. I feel like somebody could make a cool base out of this. I always feel like there's so many cool locations that you could make something interesting. But I just don't have the imagination of what to do. But you've like got ready-made big four walls. There must be something. Just build a roof on it. Anyway, am I north? Kind of north? Not exactly north. I think it still counts as northern hemisphere. I don't know if that means much. Now, there's no cave creatures, so I don't need to look at caves. There is a bird. And there is a sentinel. Of course there's a sentinel. Oh, God. Let me scan the bird. Right. I doubt the bird will be creature of the planet. So, so far, Womp is creature of the planet. Let's escape these dastardly sentinels. Now, there was loads of underwater creatures here, wasn't there? Was he the creature of the north? No. Until I find the creature of the north, I don't feel comfortable, because I always have to be second-guessing if I'm north enough. I'm pretty sure it's just northern hemisphere. But I always still feel a bit twitchy. There's not many creatures around, is there? There's something over there. Where's it gone? What is that? Still the womp. Where the hell is it? Did it disappear on me? Oh, cow. Cow with a cute face. I still think the womp's better. Something over here. What is that? What are you doing? Show me your face. Oh my god. It's not you. You're not creature of the planet. What an ugly face. Flower face. 
Uh, what else? Is that... Oh, we found the one that's found in the north, which happened to be this little cow. So still one more ground. Diurnal flying, and then there's all the fish. So I kind of need to go to the ocean. I think let's just go do that. Get that out of the way. So we also need the light side. Oh, being sentinels. Oh, we got flying saucers. Oh, new creature of the planet. I like the UFO features. You're now winning. It's all going to be on the rare un underwater fish. If it can trump this boy. Actually, is it red? Now, for some reason, they feel a bit bugged because they always seem to fly really low. He's actually stuck. Are they going to shoot me? If I'm on a creature? Wow, look, sentinels are just growing and growing and growing. It's interesting that they don't shoot me, actually. I'm safe. Who would have thought it? I'm stuck on the creature. He can't lift up without me. Right, never mind. Let's escape. Now, where's my... Ship is over there. Go invisible. I'm going to escape these bad boys. Hide behind a rock. But can I get to my ship and leave before they attack me again? Right, let's go to a big ocean, find this rare fish. There's the white lash. Doesn't it look beautiful? Actually, it looks more white now. When I first went to discover it, it looked more browny. And I was slightly confused if it was a brown lush or a white lush. Right, what did I say? Big ocean. And it doesn't matter which ocean. They're all always active. So, is the fish going to knock the UFO flying plate off the top spot for Creature of the Planet? Well, look at this. I guess this is really tall, then. I must guess the water must be super deep if this is only just poking through the surface. Now, isn't this cool? You've got a ready-made internal swimming pool. That's got to be a good base location. I wonder if you could get fish to spawn in it. You could have a ready-made base with an aquarium. That would be funny. I need to be on a blue water planet, though. I can't be doing this red water. Right, we've got a fish. Is that a crab? We've got a crab. Technically, you could find a greater or lesser mushroom beetle crab underwater. Looks like there's another crab. Wait. Oh, God. Escape. Technically, this might actually be the rare. Sometimes the crabs are the rares for some reason. Common. Common. Wait, did I not... I, uh, I didn't scan the other crab. I must have scanned something else. Right, so it's still the rare. That's an eel. Right, you did not beat the flying saucer. So what are we actually missing? Uncut, no. Rare ground, always active. We've got one ground creature. How hard could it possibly be? Diplo? Double Diplo system? Where did I leave my ship? Quite deep down, aren't we? He's actually not bad. For an eel, he's actually a good one. Oh my god, is he actually better? No, there's no way. He's actually a good eel. Let's take a picture of him. 
Is there any chance that he beats a flying saucer creature? He's actually really colourful. I'm conflicted now. How can an eel win? He's actually a really good eel though. What the hell? That's one of the better eels I've seen. He might have done it. He might have trumped the flying saucer guy. What the hell? Anyone got any opinions on that? Which creature is better? Who gets the award? I mean, I've still got the ground creature to go find. <laughs> Maybe the ground, ground creature will still win. It's a good eel, though. How's he look in the menu? I mean, he's got a nice pattern on him. He's like a leopard eel. Usually they look very bland and boring. As the body of your flying worm pet. Oh god, Pidge has got a biased opinion. I'm invisible. I'm invisible! Oh, you... I hate this so much. I can't even escape now. I block this scan. Any chance I can block this scan? There isn't, is there? Will he attack me whilst I'm landing here? I don't actually know what happens. Wait. It's gone up to a two star. Ugh. Let's go hide in the water. How annoying. Wait, they're not even disappearing because the reinforcements are arriving. Wait, if I dig through to the middle and then swim up, up the middle of it. Genius. Can I do that? Surely I'm going through to the middle. How am I not getting to the middle? Right like now I'm going through all the way through. Wait, am I am I <laughs> Oh god. What have I done? Am I through the other side? <laughs> I'm through the other side. I don't know how I managed to do that. Wait, never mind. Let's get in the ship. It's quite an ordeal, wasn't it? Wait, where am I? Go invisible. I'm invisible. How did I manage to not dig to the middle of this? I don't know. These freaking sentinels. They're going to insta-spot me. I'm invisible. I'm invisible. Don't you dare. Are you... What? Oh. So frustrating. Wait, can I... I'm going on the Nexus. It's just so frustrating. I was invis- I hate- I hate that they gave us an invisibility scanner. That doesn't work. It only works some of the time. Why can I not summon the Nexus? Planetary interference. I'm too close to the bloody planet. This is like so trolly. I was invisible the whole time. I walked around the corner of the ship invisible. And he still spotted me. They really need to fix it and also make it so that creatures can't see you either. I'd love to be able to hide from predator creatures like that. Right, might as well just go again. So we've got one last ground creature to go find. Let's try and do it. 
It's always active, should be anywhere, so I just probably want to go to the light side. Are you kidding me? Immediately scanned. And I can't... I'm failing, I'm failing. Right, they disengaged, good. I need to go find some land, this all looks like water. Oh my god, now it's storming. Surely there's land over here somewhere. God, that looks like water still. Is that land? Is this an ocean? Please tell me it's a land. Can't see a thing. Oh, you... Is that land over there? Nope. I wish they get rid of these big grey clouds from space. I really hate this mechanic. I don't know why they did that. I mean, it's nice to know that it's storming there, but I, it just doesn't need to cover the whole planet. It's very unrealistic. Very unimmersive. And actually obtrusively blocks you from being able to, like, find a place to land. Right, we have land. Right, so we've got two creature candidates for our creature of the planet in the flying saucer and would you believe it, a fairly colourful eel. But we've still got one more ground creature to find. I'm invisible. I am invisible. Don't you dare. I'm invisible. There's a flying saucer creature again. I do like these ones. The only problem I find with the flying saucer is most of the time they're relatively similar. It can be slightly different shades of colour. I don't feel it's enough variation amongst them. Whereas that eel is actually fairly different from many other eels. Right, red dot, there we go. Moment of truth, what are you? You're not a candidate, surely. Bipedal deer. Right, we need to decide. Nanites achieved. Name the planet. Like, no. Subscribe. It. Beeble bum. There we go. We're sharing the love. <laughs> it rejected Beeble bum. <laughs> oh well, I tried. Never mind. <laughs> I don't... How does people name stuff? Uh, subscribe to Alexi Check. There we go. Well, I tried. No Man's Sky. You... What? Cannot name this. Wait, is Mammon rejected? What does Mammon mean? Why is it rejected? Let's try again. Mam? Is it rejecting mam? Subscribe. Just by itself. What? What? The, is its native name somehow... What does mammon mean? Does it mean something rude that I don't know? Let's try mammo. That feels even more rude. Subscribe. That worked. Mammon. What the hell does Mammon mean? I'm googling what Mammon is. <laughs> what the hell is Mammon? I probably shouldn't be doing this. Mammon. I should not be doing this. Biblical term for riches often used to describe to the debasing influence of material wealth. What? something religious what kind of angel was mammon all an angel wow it's rejected mammon isn't that funny right so we've now managed to do the zoology on all the planets apart from the underground creature on my white lush 
I need to leave a message as well. Seek out a Lexi check. Right. Oh, creature of the planet. Creature of the planet. So we've got this as a candidate. You know what? I think the eels won it. Such a nice pattern. And it's very rare for an eel to catch my imagination. So you're going to get Creature of the Planet Award. Creature of the Planet Award. Somebody random will find this, see Cop Award and think, what the hell is that? Little did I know. Right, I also need to do a save reload and go check this planet's multi-tool. Reload. Wow, I've actually got 90,000 nanites. We're actually getting a decent amount. How do I want to spend them? I need to upgrade my fighter ship. Probably have a few multi-tools I still want to upgrade as well. Right, let's get my ship down. Oh god, go invisible. I'm invisible. I'm invisible. Leave me alone. Run away. Uh, I'm running out of vis visibility. Escape, quick. Oh no. Charge up quickly. Run away. Right. Last multi-tool to check. Let's go have a look. And then we go back to our white lush with a diplo. I need to search for the common underground creature. And I want to try and search for an S-class silver mine. Although Pidge seems to think the power is more important. What is more important? S-class power or S-class mine? Or is none of it important? And look at that, we've got subliminal messaging happening on screen right now. <laughs> I actually really like that. <laughs> we did that in Valheim. Um, I built a base in Valheim and we put a label over the top of the roof on the door somewhere. Subscribe to it. <laughs> Something like that. Subscribe. Every time I'd walk in and out of the house, <laughs> people get a subliminal message. Very cool. Right, this is the last multi-tool in the system. Technically, that's not true. Because we didn't actually see the starting multi-tool in the system. I might have to go do that, actually. It feels weird that I've missed it. And I've not checked the Nexus multi-tool either. Wait, is the Nexus multi-tool the same as the one in the start of the system? Oh, it's a little baby experimental. I don't like these ones too much. Red and white. So wait, if I teleport away and teleport back, this should change to the base multi-tool, isn't it? Let me just teleport to my settlement, sort that out, and then come back again. Or I could actually teleport straight to the Lush, although I probably want to teleport and see the multi-tool. So let's go to the settlement. Class for both is largely irrelevant. You just need to build more generators, extractors. Have you got any idea of the quantity of silver I'll be able to mine from it? How big do I need to make it to get, like, more silver than I possibly know what to do with? Right, let's see what my settlement has to say. Policy decision. Add Galactic Forum or add Sulfium Facility. I've got no information about it. Let's go with this one. Ooh, productivity increased by 89,000. That's quite a lot. We're way more productive. We're very happy. I still haven't managed to attract any population. I don't know how you get this to increase. 
We seem to every now and again get one citizen who joins us. You'd think we'd have chat more people by now. Maybe this needs to get to 100% or something. Right, let's go back. I should be able to go to the previous space station. And hopefully this will change the multi-tool back to the base multi-tool. You're not sure, it's been a long time since you built yours. You're planning to build a uranium factory soon. Interesting. A petrol station. <laughs> That's a cool idea, actually. Although I find it's quite easy to get uranium. I actually got quite a lot of uranium just by farming some of these algo pods on, on freighters and stuff. All right, so this is the system starter multi-tool. Fair enough. Right, it's time to head back to the White Lush with Diplos and so do you think I should just stick with my A-class mine that I found? Right, my base is and it will be the last base. Wait, what? So now I'm going to have to get rid of these ones. Wait, did I not put a base down? I've not put a base down yet. Idiot. Okay, we need to go put a base there. I suppose I'm going to put the base where the mine is, isn't it? I just marked the mine because I wasn't sure if that's the location. Right. Wait, is that the White Lush? That's the White Lush. It is. I just want to build a factory. It will be mainly decorative. It won't produce as obscene amounts. I need to make it a bit functional because I want to have enough silver that I don't have to think about getting silver. I seem to be getting these derelict freighters awfully a lot. They don't seem to do very much for me. That's where my A-class mine is. I still need to find this underground creature first, so let's, let's go back to hunting him. And whilst we're looking for him, I guess we'll try and find NS class put this stuff on the freighter got some spare silicate dust I keep storing that away living pearls can store away two carbon I don't need that oh I still need to do this derelict freighter mission right now, unfortunately, this white lash has yellow sky, which always dampens the mood. It's never quite as nice. Blue sky makes it so much more beautiful. Right, we found lots of caves before, and we kept finding rare cave creature. But not the common. Surely we can find a common cave creature. Surely. There are nice caves. I always find white lushes have nice caves. Oh, and there's the diplo. Straight away. Probably my most ugly diplo, I have to say. I don't like its pattern. But it's still a diplo. And it's a white lush with a diplo, so super rare. Always come in here to see if it helps the cave creature decide to hear. Come on. Perhaps I can throw some creature pellets out just to encourage it to show itself. Maybe sit down for a second. Don't look at it. Look at the diplos instead. Look at them all. Enjoying white lush grass. Doesn't look promising, does it? Dang it. No red dot. Hmm. It actually opens up into a fairly sizable cave here. Bring more bait out. I always feel though, if I've not seen it already after all of that outside, 
I hardly ever see it inside. Common cave creature. What a lie. I don't actually know how many caves we've been in, but we've been in quite a few. At least they're nice caves. Right, I'm giving up with this one. Cave creatures are very sneaky as well. You walk away and then they spawn behind you. This one's not spawning. No. Alright, let's find another cave. Wait, I'll have a quick look, see if there's any nearby. Another A class. Now, is there any point to look at the A class? What if there's a good power next to it? The other one had a C class power. Does it matter? I don't know if this is worth the effort. It won't take me very long. I suppose I could look for power already. I don't have power. But there might be power when I get near to it. Oh, what the hell. We'll have a quick look. What if there's like an S-class power next to it or something? Then it probably would be the one. I like these little yellow trees. The trees are not are rather sporadic though. Not my taste really. In an awkward position. Wait, I don't even know if it's silver yet. It is silver. So, do I see power now? I don't see power. That's not very good, is it? I guess that means this place is no good. Right. Cave. Is there a building nearby? Cave Creature Blues. Right, I think I'm going to take my ship. Actually, let's scan for a building. We've managed to do all the other planets. Surely. Wait, Shelter Detective with a base icon. It's just found a base. I do need a base on this planet, but surely the base is going to be where the miners. How cool to find a random base. It doesn't look like there's a cave next to it. I should probably go look at it though. That sounded cool. I didn't realise it could scan a base. I don't think that's ever happened before. Maybe it's just because I was so next to it. Take the pilgrim. The planet's so vast, it's always a bit... I wish the trees were a bit more, less sporadic on this planet. I feel these mountainous planets, they've made them so vast, it makes it feel sparsely populated. Random base. Do I claim it? I think probably not. Because the base will surely be where the silver mine is. And there's no cave here. But often with the base, if you have a base, you have a cave next to it. Oh. 
Look at that ridge up there. Looting mites. Oh, building. Okay. Building at the top of the mountain. Let's see what it is. Hopefully it's got a cave. Is that curious deposits? Curious deposits. On the side of the mountain. That you can kick off. No way. That's kind of cool. It's not quite where the, the base is though, is it? What could you do with this? You could build a little hole or something and try and hit them into the hole. There's not that many of them though, is there? You're like four chances. I'm sure you can make a game out of this. Try and hit the tree. Do they all end up exactly on top of each other? That would be funny. No way. Roll up, roll back down again. You could build like little scorecards with numbers on. And they all end up in exactly the same place. <laughs> I couldn't do that if I tried, surely. How do they all end up exactly in the same place? Must be a gravity point that it's pulling them towards. There's no way this ends up as well there. Surely not. All three of them touching. Is he going to hit the tree? It's just going to come back. What the hell? That is amazing. Is he going to slot in? Go on. Slot right in. Go on. Go on. Come on! <laughs> that is insane. I wonder if it does that every single time. Ugh. Exact plays. Hey man, I just started a new save and your starter system has a paradise planet. It's good to have your stream on in the background. It's always good to start a new save, isn't it? I've decided I'm going to change to a smaller system freighter. I want a more unique design. I think that's a good idea. I had an Enterprise freighter in my last playthrough, and I really loved that one. I, I love that they all ended up in exactly the same place after, like, rolling around. I wonder if that would happen every time we did it. I get distracted by these things. I shouldn't waste time. We've got too much to be doing. Can't actually summon my moped because it's too steep. These have a cave. That's a waypoint. Is there a cave? Does this count as a cave? We've got the diplos up here. There is a kind of cave. There's no creature there yet. But let me click on this. Wait. Have I still got an outpost marked or something? Ugh. It's just like a little... Wait, is it a cave? Oh. Ah. Opens up. It's too vertical though. I'm not going to find a creature in here. Come on, cave creature. I've managed to do the, all the other planets. We found cave creatures on multiple planets. How could I not find one common cave creature on my white lush diplo planet? I don't get it. Hmm. There's another building there. That's not the base, is it? Oh no, that's the waypoint thing. Wait, that's a waypoint thing as well. Maybe there's another cave next to it. 
this a cave? It's a divot. Cave? Oh. Now there is a rare cave creature, and I've even seen that like multiple times. We've not even seen that one yet. So much for the theory, going away from the planet and then coming back helps you find the cave creature. Ugh. Cave creature nightmare. Right, let me try doing a drop pod. Last time I got stuck, we did a drop pod and we found a really good cave next to it. So, let me try that. Drop pod is over there, three minutes away. Let's head towards it, and if I spot any other caves on the way, we can stop off there. It's a difficult mountainous terrain. The problem with this is, like, it takes quite a while just to go to the drop pod and then it's not guaranteed that there'll be a cave anyway. Is that a cave? Oh. Come on. Ah, it's just a nothing cave. I wonder if it'll open up. Got a tunnel. It's just a dead end. No. Oh, weapon depleted. Right, how far are we from the drop pod? Six minute walk. I mean, I could make a start on the build, and then each time have another look for the cave creature. I should be looking for another S-Class, and another E-Class. I feel like I should st check it just to see if we get one with a good power support source by. So, ugh, I've got no sprint, I've got no jetpack. Brilliant. Just wait for a second. I'm going further away. It's going to be down the other side of the mountain. Getting closer. Right. Is it silver, first of all? It's not silver. <laughs> uh, was there a power supply here? There is. A B-class. Ah. Oh. I should probably just be satisfied. I've got an A-class mine with a C-class power, I think. What was I doing? I was going towards a drop pod, wasn't I? Where is it? Over there. It doesn't look like there's a cave next to it. I don't actually know how to build this power station. I have to remember. I think it's just simply putting the extractors and powering it up and building the storage supplies. I don't think it's very difficult. What I don't know is how much silver we'll actually get from it. 
Oh, there is a cave here. That is a nice cave. We've got a circular cave around it. Right, let me go click on stuff. Let's make a save. Please, this has got to be it. This has got to be the cave creature. Let's do a quick sit down. Not even going to look. We're out a load of bait. Right, come on. Come on, cave creature. You know you want to appear. Come on. Don't do this to me, game. How's there no cave creature here? This cave is disappointing. This is not a cave. This sucks. I needed it to appear outside. Let me try reload. We just made a save. Last try. If I can't find it now, I think we'll give up and we'll go start working on this mine. And then hopefully we'll find this creature eventually. It is frustrating though. All right, we've reloaded. I'll wait for a second. Sit down. Look out for any diplos. Green dot. There's another building down there. It's just not here, is it? Ugh, so close yet so far. Let's see what this other building is. There's the Triceratops. Did I give my creature of the planet award? Oh, we found the whale on this planet as well, didn't we? This is the wrong whale. I really hate that. It's a glitch. It's the right colour, but the other whale had spikes on and a helm on his head either so it's, it's kind of nice the colors are nice Got a shop no cave do I need the shop that'll be no right I think I'm giving up I think we're going to go to the mine location and see if there's a power supply nearby I don't know why it always summons the wrong ship. It's very frustrating it does that. Right, let's go fly to my marked location. Which should be an E-class silver mine. Guess we plop a base down. Is it the one that was slightly underwater? I've lost track now. I've actually got an S-class mine on another planet, but this is my Diplo White Lush, so it's going to be here. Gives me excuse to come visit it. So what I need to do is mark the power then, I guess. Wait, how do you actually put... I can't remember how you do this. How do I have one base, but I have a power supply linked to a mineral extractor? Right, so... Is this already marked? I've got to mark it again, because we went away. Okay, let's get it marked again. Somehow it's in the water. I don't know why it does this. Better not change to a different mineral now. What if it changes? There's no way it changes, is it? Silver, there we go. Right, so now we want to get marked the power supply. So there is a C one, but it's 400 you away. So how do I link them up? That's what I can't remember. Because the wires don't reach that long. I guess I need to go... Do I put the base in the middle? 
And then you've got wires to either side. Is that how it's done? So do I need to like go 200U and then put a base down? Can't remember. That's what I'm going to try and do. Right, so we want to go till we're about 180U away and then put a base down. I'm going to try it anyway. Set up power generators in the power hotspot. Set of extractors at the mineral hotspot. Connect all the power together. And then run a single power cable for them to... Yes, base in the middle. Okay. Right, so this is approximately in the middle. Let's get just slightly... Put the base in amongst all these diplos. There we go. I don't actually remember. I suppose you could put all the supply depots at the base in the middle, isn't it? Is that right? So first of all, we need to name it. Now this gets a bit awkward. There's a lot going on here. Silver mine. There's just not enough text space. White Lash. Diplo 15. That will fit. It's a bit of a mouthful really, isn't it? But I don't know how else to put it. So, start building. We can make a little floor. I guess this will be where all our... Why is this... Not snapping. This will be where we put our little supply depots, I guess. I don't really know what I want to do. I'm not going to do it too aesthetic, I don't think. I suppose we could have a little wall around the edge. I don't actually quite know how these supply things work. So let's just have a quick look at those. Supply depot. Metal platings. I'm going to need a shop. I don't have enough metal platings. So I don't want to craft them all. Right, where where's shop live? Shop in here? These don't seem to... Ah, they, they do go in the wall. Wait, they go in the window. What the hell? That's a bit weird, isn't it? What? What is that? Right, we need a different wall. I can't have a wall that's got a window and a shop. Right, let's buy up all the metal plating. Please have a lot. 29. It's not really enough, is it? I need, like, loads. I'm going to have to... Oh, might as well put a teleport here, I guess. Where's the teleport? Except I haven't got the power yet. I'll have to go get the power. Right, let's go get the power. To reduce lag, I suggest building all the storage depots away from the main base and just having one at the base. Wait, what? Why would you have one at the base? Because you link them all up, is it? Is that how it works? Yeah, uh, I'm going the wrong way.
Right. So can I still build? I can still build. So where are these power things? Gas extractor generator. I can build 12 of them. I've got no idea how much power we're going to need. Any idea? I suppose it's how big I make it, isn't it? I'm probably going to run out of metal plating. I might need to go to a rich system and buy a load of metal plating. Now, does it matter how I lay them out? It shouldn't matter really, should it? I suppose they, they're slightly inefficient. I don't think it matters too much. Oh, there should be enough power there. I guess I just put what I can put. Right, now I need to buy them all up. This is the annoying part. Let me go into the build menu. Why did it always very tricky? Ooh. Which one did I connect to? I connected to the wrong one. I'm messing this up. Why is this always so tricky? I usually build a ton of depots next to my extractors, then just one depot at the base. That way I can get it all without having to visit the extraction. Ah, that's a clever idea. I'll try that. Have I connected these? I don't feel I have. This is the problem. I lose track of what I've connected to what. I wish they would change colour or something once they're connected. Is there a way I can see how much power we've got? If I click on them, does it tell me? 1500 available. No batteries. Wait, what? Do I need to build batteries? If I build a battery at the main base, I can use it to view your power uses. Good idea. Right, so I'm going to have to go back to the main base then, isn't it? Now, can I take a wire and then plant it? I could put a wire and plant it on the teleporter, isn't it? And then connect a battery down there. Is this going to reach? This might not reach. What's the range? 200 U. It should just be within range, isn't it? You don't need batteries. Okay, but you can use it to give you information, is it? Do it if it gives me information. Can I connect it to the teleport? Right, so we've got it connected to the teleport. So if I put a battery down, wow! Now, how much bat power goes into this? Does all the power go into that one battery? Wait, do you only ever need to build one battery? Why do I end up building lots of batteries? Read power storage. Look at it go. Right. So you said to build one supply depot here. I'm out of metal plating, am I? No. Now these walls don't quite fit, do they? We'll have to... Look, we've got the bone cat outside. And we got all the diplos. We've got a good location here. View of the water. View of the table mountain tops. We got the diplos. Is there a little stone stairs? A little stone ramp.
Is there a corner ramp? I'm probably asking for too much really, isn't it? Come on. You know you want to stick there. Don't do this to me, game. I hate it when it does stuff like this. Oh, there we go. Is there any way I can get it to fill in? Half ramp? I don't think it works, does it? It's a bit of a shame. I snap it next to this. No. No. Okay, never mind. Right. So now I need to go... Put the mineral extractors down. What, what do we need for mineral extractors? Everything needs metal plating. I need to go... To an opulent system and buy a button of metal plating. I wish it would say... Oh, it is opulent. That's a bit of luck. But I wish it would say on the front if it's an opulent system or not. Now, I've got no clue how much silver I actually want. I only know that the freighter needs a heck of a lot. And I want to be able to get enough that I can build freely. If I need to. What I'm doing, I'm buying all the metal platings. 110. That should be enough. Your bases. Oh, I need to take a picture. I need to remember to do that. I need to get in the habit of taking pictures with the bases. I always forget. You need lots of batteries with solar to store it overnight. Ah, I see. So how comes you don't need batteries with this? Do you just not need batteries with the generators? Right. So we've got our one supply depot there. So we need to go build all the metal extractors. Oh, for some reason, it's I'm in the middle of the. What? Why does it get unrecovered again? So teleported away. Okay, let's just get this rescanned. I need to build them as close as possible to the the rich source. And stand a foot is seventy two. I'm gonna go as close to oh God, it's getting worse. That's getting worse as well. That's getting worse. This is getting better. That's getting worse. Seventy-eight, seventy-nine. Really hard to get the last juicy eighty. In some ways, it doesn't matter. So it basically needs to come here. Mineral extractor. I don't have chromatic metal. Are you frigging kidding me? Chromatic metal. I need a ship. Uh, do I have my freighter in the system? Do I not have chromatic metal here? Does it not see? I'm out of chromatic metal. Are you kidding me? Right, let me summon... Tetra Tetra or something. Footy footer. Come on. How much? Needs a hundred. I only have a thousand on me. Ugh. I have to go shopping. I don't actually know how many of these I need. 
I should probably go back where it's rich. Hey, what? No, that's the wrong one. Under foot sixty three seventy two. Oh, God. Seventy seven. Seventy eight. I mean, it is about here, isn't it? This will do. Mineral extractor. I guess we put ten of them down for now. Oh, in some ways it doesn't matter too much, I don't think. I'm not going to laugh about too much. I just need to be able to connect them all up again. I don't know how much silver you generate from one of these. That's That's the problem. I guess it will tell me once we connect them. Supply pipe. Do I need to power these? I suppose I need to power them as well, don't we? Wait, do I need to build lots of storage? I need to build lots of storage for them as well, don't I? Is it one to one? I don't actually know. I know we've got one in the base. I don't know if it's a one-to-one -one storage mechanic. I'm going to assume so for now. So all of these are connected, hopefully. So the other thing we need is the supply depots. Let's put these over here. I could just build a floor just to make it slightly easier. Let's put these supply depots. So we want nine here, and we've got one in the base. I can only make eight. Oh god, I don't have enough. I'll have to make another one. Right, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing it. Am I getting on? I'm getting on... I don't know. Is it one-to-one -one for the supply depots and the extractors or not? Right, so now I need to connect all of these up. Am I going to have to power each of these separately as well? I probably am going to have to, isn't it? It's a bit annoying, isn't it? Right, so these are all powered up. Piped up. And then I put one of these to here. Wait, why can I not connect to this thing? What? Why can I not connect a pipe? To the extractor. Is it because I've already used up all the connector points? I'm confused. Well, that's not working. You don't have to power depots, okay. But do you not need to power these generate these extractors? Why can I not 
power this. Connect this. It must be because I've connected these two together. So let's take that. Connect this to one of these. Connect this to this. But then I've got to miss it. Wait, connect this to this? Oh, I don't know. I'm hoping everything is connected now. Oh, no, it's this one to this one, isn't it? Uh, I think it's showing now. I think for some reason it wasn't showing. I think everything's connected. The only thing I need is power. Right, let's go get my power. What I don't know is how much silver it's going to generate me. I can't actually build any more extractors at the moment. We're out of resources. Right, hopefully this works. I need a relatively big number of silver if like if it's once a day. At least like kind of ten thousand or something. Maybe that's a silly number. So it's these things I need to power, isn't it? Wait. Is the connection too long? No. Can I bridge the connection? Too close to Starship. What? How am I too close to Starship? Where the hell is the Starship? Right, and Bridget. Oh, this is... I hate this. Where the hell is the Starship? I need to move my Starship out of the way. I hate that bug. I'm out of the way. Right, let's try that again. So I can't get it all the way down. I need to bridge it down somehow. I don't know if I'll have to connect them all separately. Is there a way I can see how long this goes? Too close to Starship? Don't do this to me. Cannot build invalid position. Too close to Starship. Don't do this to me, game. Do I have another starship here? What is this? I bet my other starship's next to the base. You've got to be kidding me. You need to power the extractors. I suggest making towers of extractors. The strength gets weaker. Ooh, I've put them down for now. We'll have a look and see what it generates. It's this bloody starship. Let's fly this out of the way. What an annoying bug that is. I hate that bug. Right, I need to go grab the power. I might have to redo the extractors then, but let me just get some power down there first of all. I should have built something down there to connect the power to. He's actually in my base. That is cool. What are you doing, buddy? Are you stuck here? Right, will it let me just plant it on the ground? It does let me plant it on the ground. So I want to go to the limit of where I can plant it on the ground. And connect this. Hmm. 
Can I connect this somewhere? Is that connecting? Right, so that's got power, but then I, I guess we need to connect them all. How annoying. So this isn't ultimately efficient because I've spread them out too much, but let's just see what we've got going on and then we'll work it out. Bit annoying that you have to connect them all up. I hope I haven't missed them. Are they all working? Working, 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 working. But then I still need to get a pipe from here up to the base. Storage empty. Eight hours till full. Overall storage, 10,000. 1,000 an hour. That's a good amount. Right, so let's build a pipe from here. I don't know if I can build the pipe all the way either. Probably not. Let's build a pipe halfway. What does that mean? Let's build this here. I don't know if it will reach. Right. So it's got 500 already. 10,750. Is that enough? Do I want to expand it more? It's a good amount. It won't let me to. It won't let me do the full build, but it will let me build for a big chunk, and then I can get more silver if we need it. Should be enough, really, isn't it? The other thing I want to build is something to hide all these disgusting wires. Where is that thing? I'm out of metal plating. Have you got any left? Uh, electrical cloaking. Probably want a landing pad here as well, isn't it? I always find it weird that these landing pads don't actually snap on. What if there's a way to make it snap on? What about the old ones? Do they snap on? It is snapping on. Can I get it to snap on from behind? What just happened? Is that underground? What? It's underground! What the hell? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Speaking landing pad. I don't know if this will stay uncovered or not. Landing area not clear. Is this bloody tree in the way? I 
Landing area not clear. What the hell? Wait, does all of this need to be? What the hell? Uh, what is not clear? All of this need to be clear as well. <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? Well, this is a bit awkward. Still considers it under terrain. No. Can I land on it with my ship if I bring my ship here? Let's have a look. If you want to expand, add extractors on top of the ones you place to speed it up, and depots increase overall capacity. So if I just add more depots and extractors. Yeah, I might as well take this silver. We're absolutely completely out of silver. Uh, right, I was going to try and fly this thing onto this, wasn't I? See if it'll let me land at all or not. Are you kidding me? That is just troll. That is so troll. What is that? It's even got the landing pad and everything. Unable to land. I wonder if there's a way I could clear it. Maybe it's this, like maybe this stuff needs to be completely free. No, guess this is not going to work. It's a bit trolly, isn't it? Wait, maybe this bridge here. Maybe the whole thing just needs to be floating. not going to work. I've destroyed my base. We're landing. Wait, how is this still connected? Anything touching this landing pad anymore? I cleared the whole lot. <laughs> oh, I'm spending so much time to do this and it doesn't work. Uh, that looks nice. Useless. You've got to go. I can plant in front of my base. 
Well, that was a bit awkward. Right, so, do I want to expand it to make it... Do what? Nine hours, 14 minutes till full. So I could make it bigger. To make it bigger, I need more resources. I need more metal painting. I need more chromatic metal. Uh, can't work out how much silver. I mean, that means you'd get 10,000 silver a day. Surely that's enough. The problem is it probably isn't enough if I were to do a huge build all in one go. I'd never do that anyway, would I? But how difficult is it for me to expand it? If I put another 10 in and another 10 in, that would double the supply. What do I need for 10? Where is it? I need 100 metal plating. 150 metal plating, 2,000 chromatic metal. Let's go shopping. Let's go find another opulent system. I need a different one. I need an umpirate system. Ideally, I need a rich system. Perhaps I should find some rich systems and put name them as such because it's a bit annoying if I do need to do shopping. I actually don't know where my rich systems are. Opulent. I can put more extractors in storage. Yeah. I think I will do just so that we've got us huge amount that we don't have to think about anymore. Right, 85. See, that's not even enough. <laughs> Actually, silver here. Might as well get it, whatever. Uh, chromatic metal is the other thing. I guess we need some ships to land. I actually need to replenish chromatic metal because I've used all my storage reserves. I thought we actually had more of that. I always am deleting it because I thought I've got too much. I, I need to keep a bit more. Silver here again. Metal plating here again. What we don't have is chromatic metal. So we need some ships to land. Got 80 and 80. That was enough for 10, isn't it? So I don't really need more. E class ship. You buy the ship and scrap it. No chromatic metal. Are you kidding me? Let me buy this ship. I might as well do that whilst I'm here. Actually, I wonder if I'm going to have room. I might not have room to scrap if we've got all this metal plating and stuff. I wonder if we've got any storage augments. That's my ship. I wish it wouldn't default to a certain ship to bring out. Right, we don't have any chromatic metal. Hmm. I suppose I can sell this junk whilst we're waiting. Or I could go to another opulent system. 
I need quite a bit. That's the problem. This, get rid of this, get rid of this. Any ships coming in? It's a bit annoying that the ships take so long these days on space stations. Let me see if I've got another opulent system. This one's opulent. Perhaps I need a chromatic metal farm as well. That's what they've got for this new freighter stuff, isn't it? They've got this chromatic metal... What are they called? Extractors on the freighter? They seem to be really slow, but I guess it's passive and it just builds up over the hours of your gameplay. Ever since they've changed it so that you can't buy so much in the shop, it is actually hard to get hold of resources in bulk. Maybe I do need to be building more mineral extractors around the galaxy for all the different metals, just so that you've always got a huge amount whenever you need it. Nice baby hauler. Come on, give me some magic metal. How does nobody have chromatic metal? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I need to make a chromatic metal farm. Nobody has it. They're slow, but with six you collect a reasonable amount. I'm wondering if I make a really huge one on my freighter. I'm slightly worried that it'll ruin the aesthetic of my freighter build. But I was thinking to make one whole floor just full of them. But the thing is, they don't collect all at once, so then you just have to visit them all. I don't know how I could be doing that. That would just do my head in. If there was an extract all button somewhere... I'll probably end up building a smaller room of them. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Nobody has chromatic metal. Let's go find a different system. This system's really not giving us what we need. Uh, could go to a fresh one, I guess. Let's just go find a fresh opulent system, whatever. I do actually need to warp in my ship as well, because I realise otherwise none of the freighter battles will spawn. I bet when I warp now, the freighter battle was on, because we were warping with our freighter the whole time. The last time I had that, for some reason I didn't get a reward. I'm wondering if there's a new bug. Oh, look, wealthy, there we go. Yep, there we go. Freighter battle. I do want to get the cargo bulkhead, so let's see if we get it this time or not. Got the wrong weapon. Help if I actually hit him. How am I missing him? God, come here, you. I 
always like to cling to the freighters. It's very annoying. They're trying to trick me into hitting the freighters, aren't they? I'm just worried about hitting the freighter. Was I being attacked by different pirates? I feel like I had pirates as well as the greater pirates. Come here, you. God, he's weaving and dodging and going to line up with the freighter. Of course he is. Come out of vision. How am I missing him? I'm shooting point blank. This is taking way too long. Come out of the way. The scallywags, aren't they? They just want me to hit the freighter, I know they do. Right. So now... I think, do I need to wait for them to talk to me? I, like, I don't know why I didn't get reward last time. Speak to the captain. Let's speak to him. Shoot. Almost we're going to hit the freighter then. Right, let's see if we get a reward this time. I, I need the cargo bulkheads to upgrade my freighter. Shield module. Don't have room for it. I actually need a good f shield module. That's not a good one. C class. Not interested in the freighter. I want the cargo bulkhead. Please give it to me, sir. Payment instead. Okay, so it's worked this time. I wonder why it didn't work last time then. It must have just been a transient bug. Right. Chromatic metal. Wait, we're in an opulent system. Do these guys give me normal stuff or do they just give me that? Don't ever do shopping on the freighter, actually. What's going on? Why is it doing this? No, wrong stuff. Right, let's go to the space station then. I think I'm going to have to make a chromatic metal farm at this rate. You've got 11 bulkheads spare if you want. Oh, do you not need them? If you don't need them, I'll take them. But don't feel obliged. I mean, I'll eventually get them. How many do I need? I don't know what this max is out to. One, two, three, four, five, six at least. I think maybe it gets even bigger. Right, let's do some shopping. Matty metal, that's all we want. Nobody has chromatic metal. Absolutely nobody. I'm getting desperate now. Doesn't normally take this long. And the other way, wasn't I getting quite a bit from shooting cargo pods? Like, seriously, have they nerfed people having chromatic metal? Is this a thing? Or am I just being super unlucky at the moment?
Okay, can meet at the anomaly. Okay, give me a little bit. I just want to finish shopping. Somebody's got to have chromatic metal, surely. Thing is, one of them's not going to be enough. I need like. He's got it. 600. I need like 2,000. Eighteen hundred at least. At a minimum, I need twelve hundred more. There's eight hundred. Okay, that was much better. So I need one more ship to have chromatic metal. You know how long it takes for that to restock. Let me go to the Nexus then, and then maybe once we come back out it will have restocked, question mark? Probably not. I don't know how long it takes you to meet me. I'll start heading there now. Is there anything else I can do in the Nexus? Not really. I could tidy up some stuff I guess. Oh, there's the cargo bulkhead. Uh, Rita, delete, delete. We just need more chromatic metal. We need like another 800 or so. Oh, I, wish, I swear I saw this one before. This isn't yours, is it? Kind of nice. I like it. It doesn't really fit my playthrough. I think I've seen an all white one on Reddit, which I might try and get. Well, the other thing is we could just go around farming our own and see what luck we have. But I think it takes quite a long time to go around. But maybe it'll be a nice thing to do. Maybe I could get two of them. Wait, is this the guy I'm after? No. Uh, let's have a pet out whilst we're walking around. I wish the pets would come out automatically. I love seeing other people's pets. Wait, there's a white guppy. I like that one. What else can I do whilst I wait? Rita. Oh, I didn't summon it. I can't sort it even. I could put some stuff in ships, actually. Bring my cook ships along. So I move these across. Raw milk might as well go there as well. And if we bring my other cook ship the meat there. Swap back. Uh, I should have summoned my freighter, then I could be sorting this stuff out. Oh, actually, the sodium needs to go on each of my ships. Does it need to go on this one? It does need to go on this one. What have I got too much of? God, I'm under-supplied here. Can I supply up? Copper. Starship high capacity. Starship high capacity. We're not in the same lobby. You'll exit and return. I don't even know how you meet up with people in lobbies. Do you just join my game or what are you doing? It's a bit annoying. If I leave here, will you mess it up for you? I should have summoned my freighter so I could organize stuff. Right, let's sort out this sodium then. So, it's because I've got this tritium. 
I want a thousand sodium in high capacity. I've only got 600 here. If I just switch to my other ship, that, actually this is quite useful. I didn't think of this utility. It's so nice to be able to just quickly switch between ships. It makes it easy to put stuff away. I always do it on planets, but this is way easier. This one's already got sodium. It's a bit annoying. Uh, tetra Tetra. This has already got sodium as well. So what am I missing on this one? Chromatic metal. I'm missing chromatic metal. This is where I spent the chromatic metal and the ferrite dust. Ugh, it's in storage. Hello, Abyss. Right, are you here yet or not? I mean, can't you join my game and then join me in my system? Why do we need to be in the Nexus? I'm going to go with some of my freighters so I can at least be organizing stuff. And we'll come back in. So white space station, I should check out the frigates, because it might have white frigates here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Right, let's go back in. I'm hoping that means I can organize my storage now. And there we go. So we want to restock up on ferrite dust. High capacity. So I'm missing the chromatic metal here. And what else are we missing? What else have I used up? Oh, I hate this. I always... What is this game? This is No Man's Sky. Do you not know No Man's Sky? This is a great game. It's not very expensive, and I think it might be on sale on Steam at the moment, because we've had a recent new update. It's a very huge sandbox exploration, building, inventory management. There's lots you do in this game. Hours and hours you put in this game, if you like it. So it all depends if you like that kind of stuff. But if you like that kind of stuff, you'll love this game. Somebody's got my exotic. Right, what am I doing? I'm slowly trying to restock up my ships. I'm slightly confused as to what I'm missing. Do I know what that? Chromatic metal is one of them, but we're out. What is the other thing that we're missing? We got all the ship fuel, we got all the dusts. This is actually trolling me now. Let me check on my other ships. What have I got on the other ships? This needs ferrite dust, let's get that. Uh, carbon. Might as well top that up. Don't have any. We're out of carbon. So what? <laughs> sodium nitrite. Maybe it's sodium nitrite. Oh no, I've got two lots of gold here. Why have I got so much gold here? That on the freighter. I'm missing something here as well. Star silk and... Glass. I'm missing glass. How have I used up all the glass? When did I use up all the glass? There we go. Tried to add your friend code, but it did not take. Impossible, this was so bad four years ago. No, it wasn't. 
It was really good four years ago, and it keeps getting better, I'll have you know. Right. Let me show you my friend code just to make sure you got it right. Did I add you as a friend earlier on? Yeah, I tried to, but I don't think it worked. That's my friend code. Is the network down? It says it's online. What kind of upgrade makes the game like this? They do lots of updates. They've already had like three or four updates this year already. Well, over the past year. Just had another big update. The latest update was a huge buff to freighter building and all sorts of little stuff. There's quite a lot of interest in No Man's Sky these days. There's quite a lot of people that play it. In all of these are players in the lobby. Right, I'm going to head out then. If you're struggling to join me. I'm not sure what's causing that. What was I actually doing? I was trying to buy chromatic metal, wasn't I? I was going to go see if the space station's restocked up. They've added these in the latest update, which is huge asteroid fields. Apparently, if you shoot some of these, sometimes some features shoot out. Now, I have tried, but I've yet to see the creature, so I don't know how rare it is. And as far as I'm aware, they like the little jellyfish you some, sometimes get on planets, which I don't quite know why they made very similar creatures. It seems to me... They should have made something slightly different, but hey ho. I got an anomaly detector. Didn't that get me a black hole last time? Wait, and now you see these ships, and sometimes they start mining as well. Is he going to start mining? He's not interested. Oh, he is going to start mining. Look at that. I think I actually get some of the resources he mines. When the game first came out, it was not like this. There must have been about 30 updates since it first came out. They update the game three or four times a year. And it's been since 2016. And they've updated it every year. They're always adding stuff. So it's a huge game that keeps improving over time. With lots to do. Right, I am going to go back into the space station and see if it's restocked up. I don't think it will have done. But at the very least we can look for some other ships. I just need about another thousand chromatic metal and then we should have enough to build the extractors we were trying to build. Pidge says, I love this game since the day it came out and it's just got better and better. Yeah, I mean, I loved it when it first came out as well. I mean, I know there are some, sh there were some shortcomings, and it was kind of overhyped at the beginning. You've got to have a kind of personality that accepts that with a game of this magnitude, there's always going to be glitchiness, and it's always going to be something that needs to be worked on over time. Right, any of the chromatic metal restock? Ah, some of it. Still need like another 600 or so. Do I? How much did I say? I needed 1,800. How much did we manage to actually get? I've got 1,500. Still need another. Another little bit. Hopefully if one of these guys has got any. We'll have enough. Right. Come on. Chromatic metal. Nope. Probably just to bought the silver as well, but we're going to get loads and loads of silver. Now you think the game is good? We'll have to try it out then. It's definitely worth a download. It's not very expensive, and it's a kind of game that if you end up liking, 
you can put hours and hours and hours and hours, like thousands of hours into a game like this. And with the latest update, it doesn't feel like they've done very much, but I've already put 30 hours in and well, no, it can't be that much, but I've already put a ho I've already done so many things that I don't normally do. Right now, I'm in the middle of building a silver mine because you need a load of silver to build your freighter bases. And they've made it so you can make vast, huge, gigantic freighter bases. I've already spoken to him. Right now, I'm just trying to shop for some chromatic metal because I've used it all up. But nobody seems to have any. A bit frustrating. And I'm wondering if, so I don't have this experience in the future, I, sh I should build a chromatic metal mine. There, there we go. Right. Got the chromatic metal. Hopefully we've got enough now. So I'm going to go expand my silver mine farm, just make it slightly bigger, just so that we really have a huge amount of silver every day. And silver is never, ever going to be an issue ever again. What am I doing? I'm going to my silver mine. I need to take a picture of this. My silver mine happens to be on a white lush with diplos, which is a very rare planet. It's not the best looking planet. Unfortunately, it's got yellow sky and it always ruins the white grass when you've got a sky that isn't blue. But still, it's a very rare combo of creatures and rarity. Right, so what did I want to do? I wanted to go build a few more supply depots and a few more. What? Grounds come back. Does that matter? It shouldn't matter, should it? So I need to build... So I, I got enough to get 10 more, didn't I? And Pitch told me that I should put them on top. So let's try putting them on top. I don't normally do this. Wait, this is the wrong one. Mineral extractor. It just float on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I need to connect them all up with pipes. Which is not the easiest. Slowly we'll connect them all up. Oh no, I'm out of something. What am I out of? I'm out of ferret dust. I've got ferret dust on the freighter. It's in my storage. I don't know if it sees it from storage. Let me just put some... Oh, we're actually running out of fry dust. Right. Where, where did I get up to? Connect this to this. This to this. This to this, this to this, this to this, and this. Oh God, what do I connect it to? This. Now they should all be connected, but then I also need to power them. Let's power them all up. So let's connect power from here to here and then we'll see which ones are actually working it takes a little while to get this down but once it's down I'll then have huge amounts of silver and we can build to our heart's content And we never need to see this again. I 
I'm wondering if I should do the same for chromatic metal, you know. But what? The thing is, I don't do that much building. If I was doing lots of building, I probably definitely would. Right. Is, are all of those working? They look like they're all working. Right. So the other thing is, I need to make 10 more supply depots. It's a bit annoying that this ground. Let me just extend the ground here. Where is it? So I need 10 more of those. Where are they? Supply depots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, somebody's here. Eight, nine. It's Michael. Have you brought me my cargo bulkheads? Hello. You can check out the white lush. Check out the white lush and the diplos. The day it came out, the 200 first planets were similar. 200 planets you visit were like 9 billion trillion total. But yeah, there's a lot of planets that are similar, but then there's also very unique planets. This one's quite a unique one. Unfortunately, it does have the yellow sky, but if I get the lighting just right at dusk. And you've also got diplos here. Quite a rare creature. Whoa, Michael gave me some chromatic metal. What did he give me? Oh, and some storage augments. Very nice. And the cargo bulkheads. Thank you so much, Michael. Put those on the freighter. All of that on the freighter. Oh, we've got plenty of chromatic metal now. Very good. Uh, how many? I've actually built all of these. I need to actually connect them all up. We need the supply pipes. A missing component. Oh, God, I'm out of carbon. I think I should have carbon on my Colossus. Please tell me I've got carbon. <laughs> we've got carbon. Uh, let's actually replenish my freighter stores with carbon. It's a bit annoying not having it. I guess that means I've also used up from my ship. My ship's not in range. And that'll do. Bulkheads, storage and metal. Thank you ever so much. That's very useful. I have to make good use of that. In fact, it might mean I've got enough storage components to actually upgrade my fighter now, maybe? We can maybe start building my fighter up and get that done before I end up getting this living ship. Right. I'm kind of losing track what I've connected to what. I'm hoping I've connected all these new ones to each other. Then we need to connect this to the old lot. And should that be all connected now? 23,500. Perfect. So once seven hours has passed, we're going to have 23,000 silver. If that's not enough silver to build my freighter base, then we'll just have to wait an extra day <laughs> to get another 23,000 silver. That's actually really good. So you could do the same for this for chromatic metal as well and always have chromatic metal. Right, let's just go check on the central base and make, see if there's anything else we want to do to it before we finish. Where is the central base? I'm lost. There it is. Right. Nice place. Hope to find your first white lush soon. You know what? Now that we've got freighter scanners, it's actually going to be so much easier to find them. 
because now you can just warp to system to system to system scan 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 and you can see so many more planets and you I found this white lush by scanning on my freighter and found that there was a white lush here and you you'll just see all the planets instantly and you can just quickly go and just ignore all other planets and just seek it all out my music stopped let's get the music back on right we've got a silver mine do I want to do anything else aesthetically here I mean it doesn't really matter does it and I can just come and click on this I mean I might as well take that whilst we're here but basically tomorrow when we play this will have been fully stocked up and I've just got no silver worries anymore do I Do I want to put anything else here? I could finish building this just to make it a little bit more picturesque, I suppose. And they've actually added in the game new variants of the walls. So if you now go to variants, you can choose which variant you want. Is that right? Yeah, these ones here. I actually know what the difference is. Oh, it's got a little secondary wall on it. Let's do this one. And maybe we can put this little, whatchamacallit, roof on. Wait, where is it? Not this one. Where's the awning? I don't even know if it counts as a roof, to be honest. Oh god, I didn't do this build. I don't, I'm not much of a builder myself. I mean, I build the odd thing, but I'm not one of the, I'm not, I wouldn't class myself as a builder at all. What is it that I want? It's one of these things, isn't it? Is it this? It's kind of this, but it's not very big. Can you make it bigger? You can make it bigger. How big can we make it? Does this look really stupid? Maybe I need another level. I feel like I still need another level. Let's put a... Uh, mini wall on wait now my landing pad's working what the hell why is it working now and we spent all that time to make it work and it didn't work I don't get it Right, I need to find that awning again. I don't even know where it lives. Is it this one? Uh, it's not this one. This one. I want to make it really big. Actually, I feel I'm going to have to build another little section here. Uh, I was only the natural roof part initially. What's the flattest one? That stone roof. And then put the only on. I'll actually learn where this piece lives. Still didn't learn. Right. It's actually too big now, isn't it? Maybe I need to actually make it smaller. It just fits to two of them. Is there a way to make it so it tilts down? Why is it... Why is it tilting upwards? Ah, that's kind of what I want, maybe. Something like this. I 
Ah, uh, I don't know. Whatever. That would kind of do. Now, do we want anything else to make it cosy? Doesn't really matter, does it? I suppose we could have a little fireplace in here. Where does the fireplace live? Oh, you cannot resize this one. Is there different colours to this? Can I make it wood? Stone? There we go. And do I want to do anything else? It's fairly simple, isn't it? But that's all it needs to be. And when we come tomorrow, full of silver. My stairs seem to have become overgrown. I don't know why that happens. Is that going to happen every time? That's a bit weird, isn't it? I've messed this up now. Perhaps if I build a little walkway down. Do a little wall around the edge. We've got quite a nice view here, actually. Wait, does this need to be here? I suppose that's what we've done. Very nice. I don't think that is there such thing as a banister. I wish there was a piece I could fill in here. I don't think there is. Can I connect anything to that? There's not like a triangle piece that fits it. Wait, what about this? Oh. Maybe like that? Oh, it's difficult to get it to change orientation. Come on. No. It's got to go next. There we go. That's better. Okay, I like that. It's a bit finicky to get it to snap in the right orientation. It like. Is that right? That's right. I don't quite know what I've done with this, but whatever. I seem to have an extra area here and not here. Perhaps that's wrong, actually. Just have it seal up. I think that'll look better. Right. You can use restore in the multi-tool. That's true, isn't it? I should probably do that. Uh. Create, restore. There we go. But I don't want this. I think these will always come back though, whenever we come back in. Nice planet reminds you of the Alps. It is, and look at this view. We've got the water, we've got these tabletop mountains. Usually we've got some diplos out here. I don't actually know where they've gone. I actually built the base exactly where the diplos were. Wait, we can restore this as well, can't we? Wait, what am I doing? Uh, no, that's wrong. Create, button, restore. This experiment here didn't work. 
I wonder if it will still... I mean, my ship is on it at the moment. I don't quite know how that all worked. I'm a magician. It's kind of cool, this, actually, isn't it? Didn't quite work how I want to. I wonder if I could actually change this to a door piece. Uh, there we go. Not bad. I love the crackling of the fire. I feel like there's not enough lighting here now. Let's just put a little bit of lighting out. And to put these little I don't know if this will be enough lighting, but can but try. That's a bit better, isn't it? These warnings do make a bit... Whoa, whoa, who's that? That's Michael's. He's got a ship very similar to mine, actually. Got a different... Wait, which ship does this look like? This looks like my... Is it Tetra Tetra? Uh, not this one. Not 40 footer. Is it Tetra Tetra? No, Tetra Tetra. Actually, I think it's one of the ones that we got rid of. I had too many of them that were similar. 50 footer, maybe? I've got different wing types. Look, there's one of the Diplos. No, mine looks fairly different actually, doesn't it? I used to have one like this. I've got too many of them. I'm looking for a white and gold one, but I haven't found one yet. Right. It's not bad. Finally built a silver mine. I wonder if I should do the same again for a chromatic metal then, just so that we never have to have that issue again when I... It's a bit of a weird shadow I've got going on here. Is there a hole between this? This light is seeping through. Is there anything else I want to do decoration-wise? How does it look with the decals on this do they stick here properly they do actually don't they let's have a couple of decals now I should be able to cycle part golden decals why not actually that will probably do anything else Still feels a little bit dark under the roof. Wait, hanging lights. Let's put some of these little triple lamps in the middle here. Are you good? There's Michael. Uh, anything else? Lighting's a bit better, at least. I do find that the lighting works quite well, actually, with these buildings. Uh, anything else? So much stuff you could put. I felt there was something I wanted. Maybe we could have a little rug out here. Hmm. Is this actually on the floor? I'm okay if this is. That looks okay actually. I kind of like that.
little tweaks just to give it a little bit of character. Bit of a shame that this thing looks so industrial. Can you actually change that? And just change the colours. I suppose the colour would be better. Looks cosy. It does, doesn't it? Ooh, what about an aquarium? Can you actually resize this? No. I don't really have a good place to put it. Put it next to the fireplace. There we go. Maybe we can put some chairs in front of the fireplace as well. Or maybe a little sofa. Where is the sofas? Never know where anything is. this up. God, I always find it slightly tricky to place. Very good. Making good use of that already. Don't quite have enough room to get into it. I feel like the lighting here is not quite on point. Maybe we have a couple of lanterns down. Coffee table, perhaps. What's a good table these days? Don't like this one. Is there a square one? Golden counter, simple desk. Make this a bit smaller. What kind of colour can we have? Can we have a. That doesn't really fit, does it? Ugh. Wait, stone. Doesn't change to stone. Red? Grey. Black. I don't know. I guess we could put a couple of cups on the table. Oh. Somebody had the same idea. Couple of plates. Maybe some vegetables or something, some fruit. What did I use for fruit last time? There was something that worked kind of well. Oh. That did not work well. That doesn't shrink down, does it? No. There's something that worked quite well. Was it just the wait, detoxified slime? Tell me it shrinks down. Go on. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, crud. Let me just edit that. Is there any way it shrinks down? I don't think it will shrink down small enough. Go on, go smaller. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you are basin. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, can have a couple of plants down. Down by the fireplace. Who puts plants in front of the fire? What idiot does that? This idiot does that. Uh, 
pretty sure. What, what, was it this? Maybe it was this. And you shrink it right down. Then somehow you rotate it as well. No, cycle axis, shift. And we need to change its color. Green? Wait, why did I get kicked out? Oh, you. That was annoying. Try that again. Shift access. I might place it before I actually. Not do. I still feel the lighting's just not right here. It's because it's stormy outside, maybe. Is there any kind of light that would actually brighten this place up? Hmm. That's not going to work, is it? I just look silly. It'll lighten up. I mean, I could put a little lamp behind, but that seems a bit overkill. Weeding lamp? No way this is right. I want to see what it looks like. Why aren't they turned on? Do I have to turn them on? Insufficient power? What? I've run out of power. With all those generators, I've run out of power. Are you kidding me? Oh, I need to put more generators then. I can't run out of power. Is it because it's night time? Can I build more generators? I've got enough stuff. Right, let's go build some more generators. I can't believe I ran out of power. I thought I put way more than enough. How many can I put? I can put lots of them. Let's just put another few. This should be enough, to be honest. Hopefully that's powered stuff back on. Do have a battery here. One thousand used, two thousand available. How did I run out of power? I don't get it. Insufficient power. What? This is still turned on. How is this not working? Do I need to power this up separately? I need to power them up. Since since when do you have to power these? You didn't used to have to do this, did you? What? Does that actually do anything? Whatever. Since when do you have to power these? Do you have to power them? I think I probably had enough power. I just had, didn't, I didn't realise you have to power them. I, I thought you didn't have to use to power those. I didn't have to power these ones. Well, I think that's enough laughing about. Got a nice little cosy area. How's our silver doing? Let's put this on my freighter. Right. So next time we should have enough silver that I can go ham on my freighter. 
and finish doing the structural base parts of it. You know what we don't have here? I don't have a save point here. Let's just build a little save point. Can I check colour this to match? Where do I want to put it? Don't really have a good location. Right, I'm going to finish up for now. You lucky devils, you. You've had three streams today. And you're going to likely get more tomorrow. That's what happens when I'm home alone. Me and the dog. I need to go give her a bit of time. She's been a good girl, actually. Wait, why is that restoring? Because I'm on restore. Right, there we go. I feel like I should still decorate this, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's supposed to be a spear functional little thing. It doesn't look too bad, though, does it? 20,000 silver. That'll do me. Right. See you guys next time. Peaceful planet. Go say hello to the Diplos. Oh, look, there's a baby one. I mean, these are <laughs> one of the ugliest Diplos I've ever found, but... Hey, they're still diplos, and we are on a white lush, so. Ah, oh, look at that phrase. Wait, is that mine? It's mine. Right, have a good one, and I'll see you guys at some point tomorrow. I don't know exactly when. Oh, hit like, subscribe, all that jazz. I've given enough subliminal messaging today with all my naming of planets and the, the like. I'm actually having fun with that. We'll see how we can expand that concept. Right. See you later.